Name's Randy Levin, tell you a little bit about myself. I'm divorced. <laughs> I tell people thinking about getting married, just save yourselves the time and aggravation. Just go up to somebody on the street you don't like and buy him a house. <laughs> and the rest of you will get that joke in a few years, trust me. <laughs> How long are you married? 33 years. 33 years. You know you do less time for murder. If, that's right, if you killed her on your wedding night, you'd be free right now. <laughs> Some for you younger guys to think about on that long ride home. Here's the weirdest relationship I ever had. I dated somebody for about six months. One day she sit, sat me down, she said, look, there's something for my, my life. I think it's sort of important. You should know this. When I was 20 years old, I was a nun for two years. This is too bizarre to make up. I dated an ex-nun. She used to be married to God. Talk about pressure in a relationship. I mean, during sex, she's waiting for the second coming. It was just that... <laughs> if you didn't get it, you're not offended. <laughs> and, you know, it takes me three days to rise again. So the point is... <laughs> I think you're just a plunny because a Jew boy knew that. <laughs> I read my fiction. But... My last girlfriend made me feel pretty special. You know, I'd take off my shirt, she'd go, because <gasps> she had emphysema. But the point is, <laughs> she had a tattoo, which I love, because I, I always ask women if they had this girl the other night, she went, I have a butterfly on my butt. <laughs> yeah, you're 19, of course it's on your butt. In another 50 years, who crapped down the side of your leg? What is that? That's disgusting. <laughs> Or it could be the other way, you know, oh my God, Mothra. You know, either way. I had my ex-girlfriend had a really stupid tattoo on her butt. She, she had a Chinese symbol. So what is that? Oh, it's the Chinese symbol for harmony. How do you know that? You speak Chinese? How do you know that doesn't mean enter? I mean, how do you know? Develop this method of meeting single people. I have to share with you. You see somebody you're attracted to. I guarantee you this will get them interested. I've been single for a really long time. <laughs> I used to do that in bars with my beer and spit out my beer because I had a friend get really mad at me once. Hey, you're wasting beer. There were kids sober in India and you're wasting beer. I'm gonna help you now, this is 33 years. He, he already knows this, but cancel the photographer. You got the photographer ready? See? It's a waste of money. That photo album, 50, 60 years now from now, you sit around, he's dead, she's gone. <laughs> this whole table are all dead. <laughs> they were so young and happy at the wedding, but everybody's dead now. <laughs> Your uncle's dead, the cheapest bastard that ever lived. He's dead! Because there's no sex on the wedding night, you're opening envelopes. And you always get to that one check you stare at for an hour and a half, those cheap bastards. <laughs> This was your family, not my family. <laughs> your mother made us in front of you. See, I think, I think women ad adapt to marriage a lot easier than men, because for men, it all comes down to one thing, especially here in Long Island. Your life changes, and it just becomes one activity, that mowing the lawn every Saturday. Oh, when I was 19, I was so cool, I was going to get a motorcycle and go to Alaska. Now I'm a schmuck with a lawn. <laughs> Is that another schmuck? Oh, look at this three schmucks with long nerves. I'm sweating my balls off, and she's in that air conditioning. I hope that choke on an ice cube, you bitch. Oh, how did this happen in my miserable life? And she's holding that dog, Snowball. How the hell did I get a dog named Snowball? And look at this shit, all oh, $500,000 for a Cape Cod Levitt house. What the hell was I thinking? No basement on a slab. I wanted to move to Virginia, but yeah, my family lives on Long Island. I can't leave my family. I'm gonna work like a dog for this place. I know, I see the time. Traveling soccer, what nuts? He came up with this idea. When I was a kid, they gave me a ball of stick and sent me alone to the park. Not anymore. No, Monday night is practice. Tuesday night is practice. Wednesday night, personal trainer. He's four years old. I'm okay, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm on vacation, I'll be fine. It's all right. It's all right. Actually
actually, here's the embarrassing part. This is the part I hate. This is the part of the show I hate to tell you. I got married a second time. Can you believe this nonsense? No, I had to. I was becoming happy, and it was affecting my act. <laughs> so I found the perfect wife in my price range. <laughs> now I get to live in Home Depot. There's a nightmare for me. Let me explain Home Depot. You walk into Home Depot, you can tell who is dumb enough to go to college and who is smart enough to learn a trade. I'm an idiot. I have a master's degree. I walk around at Home Depot. Excuse me. Somebody help me. This fell off. I don't know what it is, but I need help. Meanwhile, there's some guy that dropped out of third grade. I need a three-quarter inch sprocket with a half-inch turn radius. You come out. Plaid shirt, cracking ass. Follow me. Last week, the oven broke. We called, you know, the service guy, and they sent, they sent this guy, like, this German guy, and I, like, like, right, I don't mean like a Nazi, you know, I mean not, I mean, I mean the bad Nazis of the 40, the fun-loving, good, dancing Nazis of the early 20s. <laughs> so they, they, this guy comes to fix the, the, and I'm just amazed by people like the do shit like this, so he fixes it, and he's this old German guy with a thick accent, he fixes the oven, then he wants to show me so I can explain to my wife, and he's sitting by the door of the oven, and he says, Please step over here for a second. <laughs> you could fool my people once. once. Even cell phones. I refuse. I'm probably the last holdout. I hate cell phones. I hate watching people. Everybody looks like a rain man. Look at people on cell I'm in a store. A store. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in a store. A store. I'm buying. Hello? Hello? What's the last thing I said? It's your phone. It's your phone. I don't care you're on a landline. It's your phone. I'm in a store. A store. I'm buying a tie. A tie. A